Out in the reserve, they're ready to fit Wendy's tracking device. There's a team of 12 on location, led by Save the Elephant's head of field research, David Dabalan. Such an important elephant because Wendy um, has a whole bunch of uh, orphan calves that are actually depending on her. So what will be involved uh, in today's operation is actually making sure that the vet is there, the animal is at the right place at the right time, and uh, you know all our equipment, everything is in the right place. So it's huge logistics. Huge logistics for a huge animal. This is no ordinary battery change. Saba is an elephant expert in her own right. With her guests settled in camp, she can play her part in keeping everyone safe. Oh, this could be tricky. The security of the animal is paramount. And we have to make sure also that our team is not compromised. My job in this exercise is to protect the team. And that's no mean feat. She has to put herself between the team and the herd. I don't know, I always get given this job for some reason. Maybe somebody's trying to get rid of me. <laughs> Time to get into position. Could everyone just listen on the radio? So, Saba, if you could pass where I am, uh, just more west, that would be good. OK, the female's right here. There is the tracking device. Got her in sight. OK, we're just going to put the dot in any time. The vet, Matthew Matinda, is standing by with a tranquilizer. That's in 10.45. It'll be a few minutes before Wendy goes to sleep. So this is um, a good situation. She's not too panicked. She hasn't given alarm calls, so the rest of the family are relatively secure. She can't quite figure out what's happened to her. She's been stung by something that really hurt, but... She's OK. So this is why it's really important to stay quiet and not give her any reason to feel under threat from us. Attaching the tracking device is vital. If the team knows where Wendy is, they can stay one step ahead of the poachers. So what's happening now is David's actually going to go in because we're about five minutes into the drug taking effect and normally it takes about eight minutes. As soon as she starts getting woozy, which is happening now, look, she's going to go down any minute. And there's something else to worry about. Where's the baby? David and Subba will have to temporarily separate Wendy from her baby. The danger with the baby is that it'll, it'll, it'll stay close and, and interfere and get very upset. The other thing that can happen is the mother can actually fall over on top of the baby. So if we can just shoo her away, it's, it's a lot better. I'm going to come a bit closer. David makes his move to split up Wendy and her calf. To be careful because she's going to go down and I can't get too close. They've isolated her from the others. She should go down any minute now. <laughs> 